Ahoy, Captains of Naval Action. My name is Jim Bursch and I am the developer of NavalGaming.com and my nom de guerre in-game is Marlin Spike. Every day when we play Naval Action, we're presented with a choice. Do we play on the War server or do we play on the Peace server? Do we play PvP or do we play PvE? When I started this game back in 2016, I chose the War server and pretty much I played exclusively on the War server until last year when, it, when I decided to switch to the Peace server. Now, I won't go into all the reasons that I decided to make the switch, but fundamentally the naval gaming project works better on the peace server than it did on the war server. Here are my observations and recommendations about the two servers that may help new players. There are many pros and cons to the servers, so it's ultimately an individual decision about which server you choose and how you want to play the game and what kind of gaming experience you're looking for from Naval Action. At bottom, the most significant difference between the servers is by definition that the war server is a hostile environment and everything is more difficult in a hostile environment. And by hostile environment I don't just mean the PvP mechanics of the game. I'm also talking about the behavior of the players. The war server is designed to be like a war, not like a sport, and that brings out the worst in people. It is for this reason that the developers have had to remove all in-game methods of communication between players of opposing nations. There was a time when there was a global chat in open world and in battle you can actually chat with your opponent. All that had to be removed because of bad behavior. The peace server simply doesn't have these problems because players aren't being pitted against each other. If you're looking for the maximum challenge of operating in a hostile environment, then you might prefer the war server. If you're a new player or a casual player, I suggest that you start on the peace server, where it's easier to play and easier to learn the game. The downside, of course, is that the XP you earn on the Peace server won't transfer over to the War server. But if you've mastered the game on the Peace server, you'll have no trouble leveling up on the War server. Now one drawback of the Peace server is that the player base is much smaller on the Peace server. This is a problem I'm hoping to address with Naval Gaming. On the Peace server, La Navas is the main market port for the whole map. If you place an outpost at La Navas, regardless of your nation, you will regularly see other players there. This is why Naval Gaming is based out of La Navas. Whether you're on the Peace server or the War server, I suggest joining a clan. Any clan that's worth its salt will gladly help out new members. Just post something in your nation chat and somebody from one of the clans will respond. Soon I will do a video on clans. If you're interested in switching from one server to the other, either way, feel free to contact me on Discord and I can make some suggestions and recommendations. Massively multiplayer, open world, naval action is more fun to play with other people. I've created Naval Gaming to help new players learn the game and facilitate playing as a team in the game. Naval Gaming is a website at navalgaming.com where you can lead and participate in operations and move up the ranks as an officer of Naval Gaming. The website is highly integrated with our Discord server where players can meet each other and play together in voice communication. Also here on our YouTube channel, we're producing videos including tutorials, to help new players and experienced players alike. You're invited to join us at navalgaming.com or on Discord at discord.navalgaming.com.